I bring my perspective as a social scientist to some of the most exciting science teams here at UT, especially the nanotechnology team that works at the Microelectronics Research Center. Nanotechnology is science, engineering, and technology that happens at the nanoscale, which means that it's about one to a hundred nanometers. To give some context for what a nanometer is, if you take a, a human hair, it's about one one hundred thousandth of the diameter of a human hair. So we're talking very, very tiny. All technology, of course, has benefits and risks. And even scientists working at the most theoretical level, tucked away in a lab somewhere, need to consider how their research and development might make its way downstream to the public or the environment. The facility is one of 16 sites that is funded by the National Science Foundation to provide academic, private, and government researchers with instrumentation and expertise related to nanoscale engineering and science and technology. Hundreds of researchers visit that facility each year and part of the sort of obligation that they have before they can use the instruments in that facility is to undergo some training. The training covers, you know, the safety of working in a clean room. I developed training that would also help all of the researchers who travel through that center to consider the ethical and social implications of the work they engage in. An ethical leader is someone who goes beyond ensuring the safe and the soundness of the research that they're producing. They ask questions like, what happens if this technology fails? Or what if it succeeds? And uh, let's say it's added to a medical device that is implanted in the human body. If the technology that they develop affects the environment, if it gets into the water supply. The public and research funders expect scientists to conduct their work with a focus on what their work means to society.